Hello everybody, Jarek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to download podcasts from the command line. So to start off, you're going to need to install some Python tools. These Python tools are basically just Python pip and a couple of other things that are important for building the program. So once you've got pip3 installed, you can do sudo pip3 install podfox. This is going to go out and download the source code and get everything ready. Please ignore this here. Um, it says you shouldn't do it, but it's actually good to do it with this app because it makes it much easier to access. Because if you do it as a single user, it doesn't access it through the path and it doesn't run like it's supposed to. It's just better to run it with sudo. And I cover that in the article and you can check the article out in the description. So we're building Podfox and we're installing it. It's going to run and install everything that we need to use it. And this it is fairly quick as you can see. And then we run Podfox. So we have the Podfox stuff here, but we actually can't use it yet because we need to create a configuration file. Now, when you install this app through the pip3 interface, it doesn't actually create an, a configuration file right away. Sometimes there are errors. So I've taken it upon myself to just show you how to make it manually. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to make a folder called podcasts. So mk mkdir and then just dash p podcasts and this is going to make us a podcast folder right here so at this point you need to open up your text editor in the in the in the article i say use nano i'm going to use this text editor here just so it's more graphical and you can see so in the code here you're going to need to change the username to your actual username and then just press Control shift s and then save the file and you're going to want to save this in your home directory under dot podfox dot json now this is going to tell the app that this is where everything should be the max number of podcasts to show up per feed is five and it should download everything there so at this point, we can actually use the app to import our files and get a show. So I'm a pretty big fan of the show Linux Unplugged. They do talk shows about Linux, and it's very entertaining. So I'm going to use that as an example in this here, but please check them out. They're pretty cool. So I have this command here, and it's just, this is how it works. You do podfox, and then import, and then you add the RSS URL, and then after that, you add a short name. So my short name for the show is LUP, or LUP. So I'm going to enter that. It's going to pull down the feed and import it. And then it'll tell me imported Linux unplugged with short name LUP. After that, I can run Podfox as a general thing just to look at what I have here. Now I can run Podfox update and it will go out and it will update Linux unplugged and tell me what's going on. And I can, I can then do Podfox episodes LUP. It's gonna show me every episode that I've got. And uh, there are a bunch of episodes that I can do. I could then do podfox again to view this, and I could do podfox download. I can do the short name. I can add the actual file. I could do episode. I could type an episode, or you could just do download, and this will download the latest episode. And then we can go directly to our LUP folder in the podcast directory, and we can see that it is now downloading. It's going to take a bit of time, though, because it's going through my internet connection and uh, through RSS and all of that, but it's going to download and it's going to finish up. And we can then open it up with VLC and we've got our podcast. And that is how you download podcasts with Podfox in the terminal on Linux. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it.